dear students in this session i will give the introduction to integration and let us start with the some basic examples on integration here let us take the derivative of the function f of x equal to x square you know that derivative of x square is 2x and uh, therefore anti derivative of 2x is x square similarly if you take the derivative of f of x equal to sin x which is cos x therefore anti derivative of cos x is sin x let us take the anti derivative of some simple function and you can tell the answer for this and uh, let us take 1 what is the anti derivative of 1 to think about the anti derivative of 1 you just uh, think 1 is derivative of what and you know that derivative of x is 1 therefore anti derivative of 1 is x let us take one more example what is the anti derivative of sec square x and you can tell the answer now easily sec square x is derivative of what x square x is derivative of tan x therefore anti derivative of sec square x is tan x and uh, let us take 1 by x square 1 by x square is derivative of what you know that derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square therefore 1 by x square is derivative of minus 1 by x therefore anti derivative of 1 by x square is minus 1 by x like this you can write the anti derivative of the function now let us take the meaning of anti derivative in general if a function is differentiable in an interval i the functions that could be possibly have given function as a derivative are called anti derivative or primitive of the function i will read it again the functions that could be possibly have given function as a derivative are called anti derivative or primitive of the function further the formula that gives all these anti derivatives is called the indefinite integral of the function and such process of finding anti derivative is called integration now let us take the integration as an inverse process of differentiation that is integration is the inverse process of differentiation that is instead of differentiating a function we are given the derivative of a function and asked to find its primitive that is the original function such a process is called integration or anti differentiation now let us take the derivative of some simple function what is derivative of sin x derivative of sin x is cos x therefore the function cos x is the derivative of sin x we say that sin x is anti derivative or an integral of cos x and you know that derivative of sin x plus c is also cos x therefore you can tell that anti derivative of cos x is sin x plus c that is sin x plus c is an anti derivative of cos x and even c may be any real number for example sin x plus 1 what is the derivative of sin x plus 1 derivative of sin x plus 1 is also cos x c is an arbitrary constant c is customarily referred as arbitrary constant now more generally if there is a function in general if you take a function that, that d by dx of one function f of x is equal to another function small letter f of x for all x belongs to i and if the derivative of f of x is small letter f of x then for any arbitrary real number c derivative of f of x plus c is also f of x because you know the derivative of sum of two function that is derivative of first function plus derivative of second function and derivative of constant is zero therefore d by dx of f of x equal to f of x only for all c where c is any real number and uh, now therefore the set of all function f of x plus c or f plus c where c belongs to r denotes 
a family of antiderivatives of f that means for any function there is a system or family of functions which are called antiderivatives of f and uh, we introduce a new symbol namely integration of f of x dx which will represent the entire class of antiderivatives you have to take all antiderivatives together and that is denoted by integration of the function f of x dx and read it as indefinite integral of f with respect to x and symbolically we write integration of f of x dx is equal to f of x plus c where c is called arbitrary constant and uh, here read it as integral of f with respect to x integration of f of x dx means integral of f with respect to x here f of x is called integrand remember this term f of x is called integrand and uh, the process of finding the integral is called integration this method of finding the integral is called integration and uh, a real number c is considered as constant function and which is called arbitrary constant and with this much i conclude this video in the next video i will explain the other part of integrals thank you